Hey, good morning and welcome back. We're in uh, 17 of 1 Samuel. This is the David and Goliath chapter. And David is now going to come and he's going to hear something. Let's follow him at verses 20 to 25 now. So David rose early in the morning and left the sheep with the keeper and took the things and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the camp as the army was going out to the fight and shouting for the battle. For Israel and the Philistines had drawn up in battle array, army against army. And David left his supplies in the hand of the supply keeper, ran to the army, and came and greeted his brothers. Then as he talked with them, there was the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, coming up from the armies of the Philistines. And he spoke according to the same words. So David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him and were dreadfully afraid. So the men of Israel said, Have you seen this man who has come up? Surely he has come up to defy Israel. And it shall be that the man who kills him, the king will enrich with great riches, will give him his daughter and give his father's house exemption from taxes in Israel. So David hears the words of Goliath. David is there, he's on site, and he hears the, the him mocking, and we saw yesterday morning what he said, I, I defy the armies of Israel, just bring me one guy to fight, and you know, whoever wins will just be your servants, or you'll be our servants. There's He's the champion of the, of the Philistines, he's looking for a champion of the Hebrews. Champions are few. Sometimes the champions are few, and just as it was in the days of Goliath and David, so it is in our day. There are many times that champions are few. Uh, lots of people to chatter and give advice, but very few actual uh, going to do something about it type champions. So here's David. He's come and he's heard the words now of Goliath, a, a game changer. There's going to be an outcome from this. But anyway, for now, again, as we think about this, it's interesting to us because when you get the guy who's the Lord's champion on scene, somebody who's willing to be a person of action, uh, not just necessarily following orders or not just necessarily... Uh, standing in line and waiting. Most of the people who were there waiting were trying to get out of that. They didn't want to be there right up close to Goliath. They were afraid of him. They were in God's army, but they were afraid of Goliath. When we're in God's army, we shouldn't be afraid of Goliath, any, anybody big or small, because our God is, is bigger than them all. Our God is in the right, and we can certainly be on his side and trust him to be on our side. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, when we face the giants, we need to be ready to trust you. If we trust you, we won't be trembling and fearful. We'll know that whatever happens, we're in your hand. Now here you've sent a man to the front of the line. Lord, you sent him carrying of all things some cheese. And here's David. And what? He hears the, the mocking words of your enemy. Now, Lord, work through your servant as we continue to watch developments and see what happens. When David hears and thinks about the defiant, rebellious words of Goliath. Now, Lord, bless us, we pray today. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. If Goliath is standing in your way, make sure that you're standing with the Lord. Nothing will stop you. God be with you today.